welcome to the lecture series of advanced java in gsp today we are going to study something about implicit objects in implicit objects you are specifically going to study what are implicit objects and we are going to see with a small snippet what are these specific objects doing and how are they used so let's begin we shall start with implicit objects now what are implicit objects implicit means something that by default implies so here we are saying that there are certain objects in jsp which are by default given to you and this are given by the web container your tomcat or your glassfish okay any uh, web container is supposed to create these objects and they are already creating these objects at the time when a particular jsp is loaded into memory it is instantiated okay so these objects which cre which are created by tomcat are just handed over to you when this instantiation is done so you have to just use these pre built objects you don't even have to declare them in servlets you are declaring you are declaring in form of http servlet request req http servlet response res print writer out so you needed to declare these variables only then you will be able to use them but here in jsp you don't even need to declare them you can directly use them because tomcat has already pre created them and you have to use them in the same way that the web container has created okay you cannot change out to out one because what the web container has created is out so you compulsory need to use out okay so you can say that implicit objects are nothing but objects which are by default created by the web container let us see this with a simple example by comparing it with servlets so here you have your code print writer out is equal to response dot get writer okay so what you were doing is when you wanted to print something you were using out dot print ln statement but this out in servlets you are you were getting by print writer or class so you needed to declare this out variable only then you were able to use it but in jsp you can directly write out dot print ln because it is explicitly understood that this out is uh, an object of jsp writer which is created by tomcat previously okay so without creating when you are using objects you say that you are using implicit objects in jsp okay now practically let us see which particular class or interface has which objects so let us see the implicit object out implicit object out which is created by the web container is an object of the class jsp writer we have another object request which is of uh, interface http servlet request response is of the http servlet response interface exception is of the throwable class session is of the http session interface config is of the servlet config interface application is of the servlet context interface page is an object of the object class and page context is an object of the page context class itself it itself is a class okay so these are the various implicit objects which the web container creates when any particular jsp page is instantiated you just have to make a practical use of all the various implicit objects without declaring them so let us see them practically hello students welcome to the programming session of implicit objects before we start developing the implicit objects let us first see how you can create a simple jsp page from web pages you can click on new and jsp and i will name this implicit object demo and finish so this is my jsp page we will start implementing the implicit objects here i would first like to start with the out object the out object is of the jsp writer class but i can directly use it without any declaration let me just write print ln hello world this is my first thing but everything that you write here should be in scriptlets otherwise it is not considered as a java code 
now let me run this file hello world so this is what my uh, first out object looks like the next we will move on is a request the request object is helping you to take the parameters via a form so let me just create a simple form here I will take a single parameter form and in that method is equal to get and action is equal to it is implicit object demo in which I am sending an input type is text and value is uh, sorry name is I name is name and let me take another input which is a submit button and value is submit ok now when I run this form it will move on to implicit object demo which means here so I am supposed to request the parameter here now request object is written as R E Q U E S T. When we were doing servlets, we created this on our own by HTTP servlet request R E Q. Okay, so we were using R E Q everywhere. But Tomcat, or in my case Tomcat, because I have deployed it on Tomcat. So Tomcat, when is creating the object for HTTP servlet request, it is creating as this request object. So I compulsory have to use R E Q U E S T. Okay. So request dot get parameter, and inside that I will write name. This name is equal to this name. Okay. So here I can just print this out dot print L N. Okay. And close it here let me refresh my code here it is null because I haven't run the form I have to run the form first so let me run this form ok when I am running this form I have to write a name say sby and submit so hello world sby right okay the next object that we are going to see is the response object response object is basically used to write something and it is an object of the HTTP servlet response interface so response we can use in a snippet for cookies cookies you have studied in servlets you can create cookie using the cookie class so cookie C is equal to new cookie and inside that I can write username and here I will give the variable name ok uh, ok let me give the name sby here ok so this is a cookie and it cannot be written unless and until I write the cookie so to write the cookie I have to do response dot add cookie and inside that I have to pass the cookie object inside this I am supposed to pass the cookie object C so this is how I can write a cookie the next implicit object that we are going to see is the session so session is like this session dot is new and if it is a new session it is going to return true otherwise false so session dot is new we are going to print let me run this code false it's not a new session okay next is application so again what you are going to do is application dot set attribute the application attribute is basically like your servlet context it is shared in the whole web application so if you create any object or any key using the application object then it can be accessed by any JSP inside a same web application. So here I am going to set an attribute say user 
and I am going to set its value say admin ok then I can directly print this I can say application dot get attribute and inside that I can give user ok let me refresh my code admin ok the next object we are going to use is the config object so uh, we can directly do out dot println it is of the uh, interface servlet config so here I can directly pass config dot get servlet context so it is going to tell me the servlet context so let me run this code and check this is my servlet context ok the last object that we are going to see is the exception object exception object is of the throwable class for this I will remove all the previous code and I will start with exception for exception I am going to uh, throw compulsory an exception on this particular page so let me write integer a is equal to 5 integer b is equal to 0 and uh, integer c is equal to let me write double c is equal to a divided by b ok so uh, a divided by b means we are dividing by 0 which means you cannot divide by 0 so this line is going to generate an exception ok so I know this page may throw exception so in my page directive I will add an attribute error page ok so error page we are going to redirect it to a page that is going to handle if there is any kind of error on this page so let me say it is an error handling jsp dot jsp so I need this error page I need to make this error page so let me make this error page new jsp it is error handling gsp ok now in this page I have to write is error page is error page and make it true so this is a page that is going to handle any error and here I can directly out dot print an exception e this is my implicit object exception and we need to write it in scriptlet ok now let me run this page I will run this page ok this uh, the, it won't work in this browser change the browser let me make it chrome ok I hope it works in chrome run file ok so you can see implicit object demo we are getting this arithmetic exception divided by 0 ok so it is being handled by this page this one ok so that's all for the implicit objects from my side. Thank you.